quarter now. And now we'll go ahead and we'll cut these things to length. I'm just gonna go over here and there's a couple ways we could do this. If we need it to be very accurate in terms of like that it reached both legs there, which we don't have to be. Um, Cause it's just a guide and we wanna be close to that, but it doesn't matter if we're exact. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna measure what that is. So from here to here, we're looking at 14 inches, just like we were saying. So let's go back over and cut that 14 inches. We'll cut on the table saw. We'll use a uh, miter gauge to cut that with. So this miter gauge is already set to a 90 degree angle. Square up one end. Mark my square end. And I'm always picking the best end when I go to cut these. This end is better than this one. We have that weird stuff on the end of that one. And in fact, I might even use this other end instead. Now we have 14 inches. Fourteen inches is right here. Go ahead and mark that line. Should I have my knife with me for marking out and my pencil? So I like using a knife to mark things out. It's much more accurate. But here's how this is going on. Just like so in between here. I can bring that up and make my mark on there where it has to line up too, okay? Oops, I have this on the wrong direction like this would want it to be. Okay, so I'm gonna mark, get my glasses off. Okay, so I made a mark there. I'm gonna hold my knife on that little mark that I made and go ahead and draw it all the way. Okay. So again, let me just make sure I know what I'm doing here. So this is my waist side here and then it goes this way too. So that X is what I'm trying to get rid of there. Do you see the square around that? So we want to cut all the rest of the fountain, then we're going to come out here and check and see what that looks like. Okay? So I'm just going to go ahead and cut slightly deeper in these so I can see them a little bit better. You got to be very careful with this knife that you don't have 
your fingers in the path that your blade has to go through because this is easily one of the most dangerous tools that I have in here. And it's pretty unassuming, you know, it's like, you don't think of it as being one of the most dangerous tools I have in here by any means. Okay. So we want to cut that section out, right? Let's go back over. And I'm going to do it twice. So I'm, I'm going to look at it and see what it looks like after I make my first pass here, but we'll see what we have. So I don't need this. Remember, I'm cutting down the length of this. So I want to cut that X out. So I'm going to line this up to do that. So I'm going to cut it this cut first. So I'm going to get my blade height. Roll that back till I'm just at that line there. Looks pretty good right there. Then I'll get my width. Get it just right there. Okay. Now I'll make a cut. So these pieces are going to go in with the half inch part down below and the other part lining up evenly with this surface here, okay? It is a big deal if in the front there is a, a snag here because it's constantly going to be hitting your, uh, your piece. So I'm happy with the way that feels there. I will, once I even put this on here, I'll go ahead and I will... Uh, just sand that a little bit just to make sure that that's, that's real easy, easily done there. Um, but in terms of putting this on, I got a lot of options. Number one, I can just go ahead and just glue it on because it's going to be a face glue. It'll be a very strong glue joint. I can use screws. Uh, very honestly, I, I prefer not using screws whatsoever. But when you put glue on the end here and then you set it on, on top here and you clamp it, so often you get the piece kind of like moving around on you. So I want to show you a tip to prevent that from happening. Let me grab some small nails for my cabinet here. So what I want to do is I want to have some really minute spikes coming out. One, two of them on here. So that when I lay this thing out where I want this to be, that it's going to be lined up perfectly. Okay? So, <coughs> meaning... Put this right there on that top edge, just like so. This should come up to it just like that. And that looks pretty reasonable right there like that, that is. Okay, I can even use this up to that edge there and bring that up to it so I can get it lined up perfectly. We'll see. Bring this up to the edge of that hole, flush with that. And then when I put this up here, I can make sure that that sits and touches that 
and that'll keep it all at the right spot, okay? So that seems really great right there. I'm gonna go ahead and make a little cut down here so I know where that is. Well, that did not show up very well. Okay. All right, so we're gonna roll with that. I'll be able to tap it around a little bit once I get in there. But I wanna put little spikes in the back of this thing now. So I'm gonna grab Two really small little brad nails. It's going in like that, so this is the back. So I'm gonna put them right in the back side of this. And I'm gonna grab a pair of side snips to cut them off then. So I'm gonna get a hammer, and I'm gonna tap it in right there. And I'm gonna cut it. So you see what I've created there? It's just out of the, the tip a little bit, okay? And that's gonna, when I push that into place there, that's gonna put, make it sit where I want, so it won't slide with the glue on it. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here. And I'm gonna use the same little nail. So I'll use it twice. So I'm gonna hold it with the snips here. Because my fingers are too bulky for doing this. Line it up, straighten that nail out. Tap it in. Straighten it out a little bit better there. And then cut it off. Okay, so I have those two little pricks there. So I am going to be able to put that in and line that up with my mark there, and then I'll be able to glue that in place. Okay? So I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut the water back a little bit more. It's a little bit too high. I'm just gonna snip that hair more. Okay. All right. So I'll grab some glue over here. This glue is Someone didn't put the cap back on well last time. It's not, I'm not at school, so I can't blame students. So I'm guessing it was that other guy. Me. But there's very little that's as rewarding as getting out that piece of glue in the front of your glue bottle and all of a sudden having this open path that I'm to run out on. I'm just gonna make sure that, that glue down at the bottom there does not prevent me from closing this bottle when I'm done. Okay, so I'm gonna put the glue back here. I splutched a little bit more than I would have liked to at the beginning there, so I'm gonna make sure I spread that all out. Whenever you're gluing, it's nice, especially a piece like this, it's nice to have a piece of paper towel or something there that you can wipe any kind of waste or extra that you did not intend to put on there onto. But So that's that. Set that here. And I'm going to go ahead and I am going to set this front up just like that. So I can put this baby on here. Tap that in and make sure it feels like it's even the whole way down. Okay. So to clamp that on, and very honestly, I should have thought about that before I went ahead and put that on, but I think that these clamps are going to get around across that. Yep. There's the one side. I want to make it even on the other side there. 
So I'll grab that one. I'll grab that side. I want to just take a look and see that I did close the gaps all the way there and it seems pretty good. So that's the one rail there. And you can see how that fits nice and flush right across, fits nice and flush right across the front here. And that's sitting on there and the bottom looks pretty dang good too. Okay. So I'm going to do the exact same thing with the other legs. <laughs> Uh, so that I have both those, and that's not going to affect my next glue up whatsoever. So uh, <clears throat> I'll have both those set up and ready to go so that we can glue the, the front and the back on. Okay, so <clears throat> I'll glue the front and the back on perhaps, perhaps, uh, perhaps tomorrow. Okay, or we'll save that for next week, perhaps.